It's time now to talk about something that is really important in project. And that is the difference between automatic and manually scheduled tasks. Now, before we get into the details, we need to make a quick change in project options. And as I've just been talking, you can see that project has popped up a prompt for me to save this project. If you recall in a previous lesson, I also set this in options as well. So I'm going to say, yes, I do want to save. And let's jump into our project options. Now, if we go to the schedule page, I want to draw your attention to this little section down here, scheduling options for this project. Now, notice it says any new tasks that are created are going to be manually scheduled. And this applies to this project only. So just this file that I have open. And if you take a look just behind this window in the status bar, you can see right at the bottom, it says new tasks manually scheduled. Now I want to change this so that every task I schedule is auto scheduled across all of the projects that I create. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to change this because what I want to happen here is that for all new projects, I want them to be auto scheduled by default. So I'm going to change it in my options, click on OK, and it's not going to switch this project to automatically schedule new tasks by default, I need to manually change that at the bottom. So where we have new tasks manually scheduled, I'm going to click just here and make sure that I have auto scheduled selected. Going forward, if I create new projects, it's going to default to auto scheduled. Now, what is the difference between manually scheduled tasks and auto scheduled tasks? Well, let's start out with auto scheduled tasks. First of all, auto scheduled tasks mean that project is automatically going to calculate task dates and durations, which is extremely helpful, particularly for large complex projects. With manually scheduled tasks, we're in control of the task dates and durations. So let's take a deeper dive into this because it's a really important concept to get your head around. So let's start with auto scheduled. If we take a look at the project plan that I have open, notice that the second column here is called task mode. So this is where we have our indicator as to whether a particular task is manually or automatically scheduled. And you can see here that for all of these tasks in this project plan, I have this icon and this icon tells me that this particular task is automatically scheduled. That is the task mode. So let's pick a task in this list. I'm going to go for task number 12 just here. You can see that the duration of this task is three days. The start date is October the 7th and the finish date is October the 11th. So when I added this task in and I set the duration to three days and I also set the start date, project automatically calculated what that finish date is going to be based on the duration and the start date. And of course, it's going to take into account things like weekends and non working days. So project effectively defines for me when this task is going to finish. Now, the benefits of automatically scheduled tasks really present themselves when we're looking at linked tasks. So, for example, we're still looking at task 12. And if we take a look at the bars on the right hand side, we can see this blue bar here represents the length of this particular task. But notice at the end, we have an arrow because it's linked to task number 13. So task number 12 needs to finish before task number 13 can begin. So what happens if I was to change the duration of one of these tasks? So I'm going to go to task number 12. And instead of three days, let's change this to seven days. Now notice what happens the start and finish times update. And again, if we take a look at the bar, that's also updated. It's now longer than it was. And task number 13, which relies on task number 12 completing, has also had its start and finish dates adjusted because of the change that we've made. So this is why automatically scheduling tasks is my preferred option, because it means that I don't then have to go in and start moving around task number 13 to reflect the new start and finish times. Now, manually scheduled tasks are basically do it yourself scheduling. We set the dates and the durations. So just to show you how this works, let's add a brand new task into our schedule. So I'm going to click task number 15 and I'm going to insert a new task above this task. Now, there are a few different ways you can insert tasks. I'm going to right click and then from the contextual menu, I'm going to choose insert task. 
So now we have this new task up here. Notice that it's by default on the same indentation level as the ones above. And we're going to talk more about that in a later lesson. And it's automatically inserted it as an automatically scheduled task. Take a look at the icon in the task mode column. Now I'm going to change this to a manually scheduled task. So to change individual tasks, we don't want to change them all. We can click in the task mode, click the drop down and switch it from auto to manually scheduled. Now notice the different icon that we get just there. We get this little drawing pin or push pin icon. So that is how you can tell which tasks are manually scheduled and which ones are automatically scheduled. Also notice in the duration, we have one day question mark. And that's because we haven't defined start and finish dates for this task as yet. So project doesn't really know. So it's put in the default of one day and it's presenting a question mark because there's unknown information. So let's rename this task. I'm going to call this, I'm going to say finalize market research results, press the tab key and I'm going to set a duration. So I'm going to set this to two days. Now notice the start date just here. It's showing as September the 30th, 2022. And that is in fact the start date of this project. So when we don't define a start date for a task, the default is to start based on that project start date. Now also notice what's going on with the bar over here. Notice that the bar is showing in this teal color. Now, maybe at this stage, I'm not sure about the start date for this particular task. So what I could do in here is add in some placeholder text as opposed to having start and finish dates. So in the finish field, I'm going to click and I'm going to say confirm with team. Now notice that it's been shaded out. The bar is now also a lot shorter because we don't have a finish date. We only have a start date and check out what's happened to the icon in the task mode column. We now have a question mark in there because the finish date is effectively unknown at this stage. And this is a really good reminder for me when I'm looking through my project plan, I can see these highlighted areas, these placeholders, so that I know that I have some action to take. I need to confirm the market research results with the manager and together we can work out how long this task might possibly take. Once we have that information, we can just go back into the schedule and add it in. So I'm going to say that it's been confirmed with the manager that this task needs to start on October the 20th. 2022. The duration is two days. So the finish date is going to be December the 21st. Notice the bar now has these dark green caps on either end. So that just means that we have a defined start and finish date for this manually scheduled task. Also notice that the question mark has disappeared from the push pin icon because we've entered in the duration, the start and the finish date. What was your favorite part of this tutorial? We would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Visit the Simon Says It channel, explore our videos and training sessions, and decide what you want to learn next.